Okay, here's the team. I wanted to use Berserker, so we're gonna use it. What is Berserker's special ability? It's called Steely Spirit. It increases the power of steel move by 1.5. I think it does it by the base power of the move itself. So it, base, it basically increases its own ability to use Iron Head with Stab on top of that. I was like, what other steel type do I wanna use? I should probably use Excadrill because I know how to use Excadrill pretty well. I could have used Durant. I went with Excadrill instead. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, so Excadrill's Iron Head is also going to be increased by 1.5, which is insane. That's an adamant Excadrill. And then I was like, what else goes with Steel types? How about Sandstorm? And what goes with Excadrill? Sandstorm. Did I want to go with Tyranitar? No, I want it to be original. And so we're going to run Gigalith, uh, because you'll also see that, similar to some of the teams that I've been running elsewhere on my channel, this is like a... A trick room team with one very fast Pokemon. There's one secret agent uh, hidden in the mist, and that's obviously Excadrill. Uh, it's an adamant Excadrill, so it's actually not as fast as it could possibly be. There's there's things that it will outspeed in trick room, although it, it is like EV'd entirely in speed and attack. Um, it's just not jolly. And uh, what is fun to do, and I'll probably do it a couple of times on, on stream and in this video right now, uh, is that you can send out Berserker and Excadrill, and you can either fake something out and get a boost with Excadrill Dynamaxing, or you can switch Berserker out immediately into Gigalith and immediately first turn get that Sand Rush boost, because it's a Sand Rush Excadrill. Didn't say that, should have. Uh, otherwise, Reuniclus is our Trick Room user. It also gets Flash Cannon, which is going to be boosted by Steely Spirit if Berserker is also in the field. Gigalith is weakness policy, so while they're attacking Excadrill, Gigalith is sitting there cursing and getting up defense boosts so that it, and if it gets hit by weakness policy, its attack goes crazy high. Um, Clefable is there literally for Durants. I've been saying a lot of them on stream and for other Excadrills and you know Steel types. It's got the Babiri Berry, so it can take Steel type attacks. It's also got Fire Blast, Dazzling Gleam, Life Dew, and follow me. And Life Dew, while it can heal the rest of our team, it's also there to help Gastrodon because if you use Life Dew, it increases Gastrodon's special attack because of Storm Drain. And obviously Gastrodon not hurt by Sandstorm and also absorbs water moves that Excadrill and Gigalith don't appreciate. Uh, and that is just a modest uh, Gastrodon set. Uh, actually, I think it's quiet. I don't know for sure. I actually think it's just modest though. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Oh, we probably won't find out. Who cares about Calx, right? Anyway, if you're excited to watch Berserker take on the VGC ladder, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Please help out the channel. Um, I really enjoy doing this, um, and the more people we can get uh, watching this to, you know, get my brain thinking, oh, I should keep doing this. Uh, you know, that's a good thing, especially if you like the videos. So do that and follow me up there on those things. Okay, let's get started. Uh, this is actually a team that I like to see. Like, I do think it's going to bring the Corviknight, but I'm now realizing that the better answer to Corviknight is going to be Reuniclus, uh, with Thunder, I think. Um, I don't love bringing Reuniclus in this matchup, besides the fact that this is not a Trick Room team that we're playing against, and so Trick Room would be very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, we gotta go Berserker, Excadrill, Gigalith, Reuniclus. If I can get Reuniclus to get Trick Room off and Gigalith, ha and then we haven't Dynamaxed yet and we can get Gigalith to get big, that would be really, really fun. I also should just Dynamax Berserker on a turn one. Corviknight's so scary against this team. I haven't come up against it much, and... Okay, this is a great lead. This is, like, what you want to see. So the play here is Fake Out into... the Rotom, and Dynamax... Max Rockfall? into Togekiss. That way we can get our own sand up without having to bring in Gigalith. And hopefully they don't Dynamax Rotom, but they might Dynamax Rotom and follow me with Togekiss. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that's what goes down. The trainer's cool. I don't love the rainbow eyes. Look. I'm so mad that I'm not wearing my steel outfit. I'm just wearing my... Uh, don't get me wrong, I look fresh, okay? I look dope as hell. But, uh... I don't look like... Oh, there's the Corviknight. Oh, it's shiny too! Oh my god. A few Gigantamax. I love Gigantamax shiny Corviknight. Uh, but... I mean, we don't know if the... The Rotom could be slower than Excadrill, I guess, but it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. At least we didn't, like, Iron Head into the Corviknight. Yep, we get the Fake Out. Wonderful. And the Max Rocks Fall. Rocks Fall. Max Rock Fall comes out. That does more damage than I thought it was gonna. I'm happy about that. I mean, Corviknight could have a number of moves to, you know, say, I don't care. I will just use Roost. Leftovers makes me think it might not be Roost, but let's be honest. It could still be Roost. I want a rock fall into Corviknight. I just don't want it to destroy my team. Absolutely obliterate my team. I'm hoping that because Excadrill looks like it's the bigger threat, they will go after Excadrill and Reuniclus can safely get up a trick room. They do not Dynamax, which is wonderful. Oh, that did so much damage. Crit. Wow. We get the Will O Wisp from Rotom. I don't think that saves Corbin on this next turn, though, unless it used Roost. Don't use Roost, don't use Roost. Iron Defense, that could save the Corviknight. Hmm. Hmm. But it didn't attack Reuniclus like I thought they might read Reuniclus as the er, extra drill as the bigger threat. Yeah, I don't think we can even do that much damage to Corviknight now that we're burned. But um, I'll tell you one thing. We can try. <laughs> we can try. We're gonna trick him first. We're gonna max Rockfall into Corviknight since Excadrill is crippled with the burn. I don't mind that it will also now be slower under Trick Room. Uh, mostly because I just want to get that Corviknight off the field. It got big with what? The Rotom? Please be the Rotom. It got big with the Corviknight, and it's the it's not the Max, the Giga Max Corviknight, Corviknight. Can you use G Max Corviknight right now? You might not be allowed to. You were allowed to in the uh, Galar Newcomers competition. Oh, it Max Guarded. Well done. But let's see if this Trick Room takes him by surprise. Volt Switch. I don't mind that. Coming to something fast. Going to something fast. Don't expect the the. If this thing doesn't expect Trick Room at all, then I might be able to get a Thunder off. It's going to be tough in the sand, which is like a piece of opposite synergy that this team has, which is annoying. I don't like that. Oh, Dragapult. Come on in, buddy. Because Excadrill is going to be slower than Dragapult. Well, not under sand. Wait, what did that just say? It twisted the dimensions or they returned to normal? Am I crazy? That's in the twisted dimensions. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, now we can thunder into Corviknight. It just protected. Hopefully we hit it. That'd be amazing. Um, but if not, we can still... High horsepower into Dragapult. It should do a good amount of damage just because Dragapult's not very. Oh, we got the Thunder off. Oh, Reuniclus, you legend. You absolute legend. Oh, you little cerebral angel. Wow, is that Choice Scarf Dragapult? 
Or is... No. Or is... You know what? Adam and Excadrill might not outspeed Dragapult even in sand. That's how fast Dragapult is. I'm not sure about the calc on that. If you know the calc on that, put it in the comments below. Uh... Let's see. Uh, okay. Togekiss comes out. I'm fine with that. You know what I should do? I should do some Berserker stuff right here. Like, watch what I can do. I can go Flash Cannon into Togekiss, and if I switch out on the switch... Watch this. If I switch into Berserker, it'll get the Steely Spirit boost, and it'll kill the Togekiss. Flash Cannon will. And then Dragapult will take out Reuniclus in the next turn. Ow, is the, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, the flamethrower into Berserker. You don't love to see it. Oh, and it got the burn. That sucks. But Reuniclus is still under Trick Room. Let's never underestimate that. We did get the kill with the Flash Cannon, which is awesome. I didn't see it happen, so I'm bummed about that, but... And we still have Steely Spirit. Okay. We're going to Psy Shock into Rotom, actually. And we're going to Iron Head into Dragapult. Just because I, I believe in Steely Spirit, and I believe that Iron Head will still prevail, even though we are burned. And maybe we'll pick up a flinch, who knows? We get the Psy Shock off, see how much this does. Rhinoclus is a beast. Didn't kill, but that's okay. Popped a berry, less okay, but at least we got rid of the berry. <laughs> How's that for optimism? We got rid of their berry. Okay. The Volt Switch comes out. Doesn't kill Reuniclus, still. Reuniclus is alive and well. And do we still have a turn at Trick Room? What's so nice about Reuniclus on this team is that it gets Magic Guard, so it doesn't get it works as a Sandstorm uh, teammate. It doesn't get hurt by the by the Sandstream. Alex, if you're still watching, um, is the is the stream buffering? Like, is it like skipping and stuff? Um, because it looks good on my, like, software, but maybe it'll only look good when I upload it later. That's okay. Um, do I still have Trick Room up for a turn? I think I do. Yep, we got one more turn of Trick Room, which means we can kill with Psy Shock. And, uh, Gigalith can go for an easy Iron Head into Dragapult to be safe. That's how Trick Room works, everybody. I said early on when I was streaming, I had yet to figure out the power of Trick Room. And I was like, I hate Trick Room teams. They're so boring. And I still think that Hatterene and Didi is outplayed, overplayed. And like, Torkoal or Guru is like, Whoa. yes, it's good, but like, everybody uses it. Don't use something everybody uses. Use things that everybody uses. If you want to win, obviously, use what's best. I want to use fun stuff. Uh, we need to check the battle team. Hey, another win. Honoreo. I guess you can't bring transfer Pokemon on ladder yet, because if you could, I think we'd be seeing them. I do think we'd be seeing them. Okay, 
So I have to bring uh, Clefable. Just because we see a Durant, you bring Clefable. Uh, Clefable can't live a max steel spike if Clefable is not Dynamaxed, but it will live a max steel spike if it is Dynamaxed, and it will live an Iron Head if neither of them is Dynamaxed. Uh, so that's good to keep in mind. Let's see. Um, and it will always kill with Fire Blast unless, well, unless Durant is Dynamaxed and Clefable's not. So it won't always come with Fire Blast. <laughs> um, okay. I think we can lead... Let's put lead, um... Berserker, Clefable. With... Uh... With Reuniclus and Gastrodon in the back. Gastrodon I want for that Milotic. It also just has a good matchup against the team. Gastron. Uh, Reuniclus would be, would be great if we could set up a trick room. Although it looks like maybe some of their team is trick room too. The Gothitelle could set it up for the Conk Elder. Conk Elder? <laughs> what are the kids saying? Phonetically type how you pronounce Conk Elder. Uh, this is interesting. There's a sand stream. Uh, once again, Clefable has magic guards, so sand moves or uh, sand storm doesn't affect me, which is nice. Should I max uh, Perserker right now? I think I'm gonna. Um, and I'm gonna max Knuckle into. No, I should max Steel Spike into Tyranitar. And I should. Uh, mm. And I should switch out Clefable. No, I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. I think I'm gonna pop a weakness policy on Tyranitar. But again, like maybe Max Steel Spike just kills. Crazier things have happened. It's also possible that they go for a Max Steel Spike with their Tyranitar and get a defense boost, which could save them. Uh, we're gonna get Berserker big. That's fun. Oh my gosh, when I played through this game for the first time, I've said this before on stream, I didn't look at any leaks. I, for the first time since I was a kid, was seeing Pokemon in real time when I was playing through, and I had a Galarian Meowth, because I was so pumped when I saw Galarian Meowth. I was like, they did not do another regional variant of Meowth. And I love Alolan Meowth. Not all in the mouth, I love. Oh, it faked out Berserker. Very interesting. Max Flare! That's not gonna kill! Amazing! Thank you, Assault Fest. So let's see what this does, because we can now follow me on the next turn. Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Weakness policy? Yep. That's okay, though. I wanna see how much this does. Oh my gosh. This could be devastating. Steal the spirit. Steal the spirit. <laughs> Once again, it's super effective, but we all know how bulky Tyranitar is. And we get a defense boost too, because if, now if they want to bring out Durant, they can't Dynamax it. They could go for Clefable, but Clefable's going to live it, because it, it, they can't Dynamax the Durant. And we have Sun set up for Fire Blast. And we have a defense boost, so they really can't kill Clefable with Durant. Oh, I hope they bring out Durant. It's not, it's the Conk Elder. Okay. That makes sense, too. Um, okay. We have a defense boost, though. So let's max Steel Spike into Conk Elder. We'll always go after these. This. Oh, you know what? I can follow me. Who cares? Come at me, Conk Elder. Conk Elder, whatever. Go for that Drain Punch you want to use so badly. Mock Punch, wow. Weird. Psychic. Interesting. 
Nice. Well done, Clefable. There's the Steel Spike into Conkle there. Look at that. That's some good damage, too. We just get another defense boost. Let's just keep it going. Love it. Um, maybe we max Quake into Conkledor on this one, just to get a special defense boost. Just for Clefable. Uh, and maybe Life Dew. Let's try to Life Dew on this one. This could be a huge mistake, but I think they're going to go after Clefable, because... Mm, I don't know. They shouldn't go after Clefable. They're going to Helping Hand. Helping Hand Mock Punch doesn't do anything because we're at two, plus two defense. You forgot. And now Life Dew raises us to the point where we don't even have to, like, oh my gosh, I really hope that's a Durant so we can we can show off the calc that I have for this um, Clefable set. <laughs> I just look like a I'm like a grandmother on the sidelines of like a micro soccer game. And that gives us a special defense boost. Look at Berserker putting in work. Berserker's putting in worker. Should I title the video that? Definitely not. Um, and there's the Milotic, and we have Gastrodon in the Bwick. And it's <laughs> the sun's up, so we don't have to worry about... Wow. Okay, so we're going to Ironhead Gothitelle, and we can just Dazzling Gleam these two. Clefable's not going anywhere. <laughs> Berserker. What I was saying before, before I so rudely interrupted myself, is that I did not see Berserker. I only had a Glary Meowth, and then I evolved it. I saw Berserker. I was so confused because I was expecting a Galarian Persian. We're still living. Look at that. And look how much this owes. Oh, that was even a crit. Okay, Iron Head into Gothitelle. Look how much that did. Dazzling Gleam. Already went. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm staying in. I don't even care. Uh, oh, you know what? I do care. I'm going to go into Gastrodon here, because Berserker can always... Oh, I can't switch up. I knew that. <laughs> I play this game. There's a helping hand. What, for a muddy water? Yeah. Miss Berserker. No. Clehable avoided, though. That's nice. As soon as they see Gastrodon, it's like, okay, game's over. No, 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 no. I keep interrupting my story. It's not that good of a story. I saw Berserker, I was very confused, I hated its design, I thought it was going to evolve again. Because of, like, I thought, like, Obstagoon, it was going to evolve again. It, spoiler alert, it didn't. <laughs> it stays the same. Um, now what I can actually do is I can Earth Power Melodic, I can go under Uniclus, and we can get a Trick Room Thunder situation going. Should have gone for Uniclus and then brought in Gastrion into Clefable's slot. But I didn't think that far ahead. Because I'm not that smart. Ooh, they froze me. Mildly annoying. I don't have Scald either. Uh, but it's genuinely fine. Because we can Trick Room. And now Thunders will be hitting... If you freeze Reuniclus too. No. Oh, oh my god, I thought that I thought that, that said Reuniclus is frozen solid. Okay. And now let's land a thunder, shall we? Um, and it didn't evolve again, and I was very confused, and it made me, like, really not like Berserker. I loved, you know, the experience of seeing Pokemon new for the first time. Kills my Lodic, by the way. Runiclus, MVP, all day, every day. Um, and I liked all the really new designs, but of the new designs, I liked Berserker the least. And, like Pinkurchin, I was just like, I should use a Pokemon that I 
don't like the design of, and fall in love with it. And that's exactly what's happening with Berserker tonight. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed seeing Berserker take on the VGC ladder, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, please. It really helps out a small channel that I think is putting out some really fun content. We're having fun talking to different people who are watching, and I really appreciate it. So reach out. If you have any questions about the team, if you have any questions about other teams or suggestions of things you want to see me use, I would love, love to satisfy your requests. That would be awesome. Uh, this is the team. If you want to use it, the code is right there. It's also in the description below, as well as a pokey paste, so you can use it on Showdown if you'd prefer that. Um, and yeah, Berserker put in the work. Uh, it, the team operated as planned. I'd love to bring Berserker back, but stay tuned because the next team that I'm using is absolutely godly. I cannot believe. I cannot wait to use this team, and I cannot believe how good it is. So look out for that next team. Um, I can't even tell you what Pokemon is the is the captain of that team. It is absolutely insane. Um, but yes, like, comment, subscribe, please. It really helps out. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, it, it, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.